Hey everybody, welcome to the uh, another live video for the Financial Fitness Challenge. Um, I know that there's been a lot of content, I guess, a lot of lessons over the past few days. Uh, so I know that some of you are working through it slowly and I get that, but you know, still have to post some new stuff every day. But like I said at the beginning, uh, next week is going to be application week. So you're gonna take all the stuff that you have learned. Yes, our dogs are crawling all over us. <laughs> now you're gonna take all the stuff that you've been learning this week and you'll get a chance to practice, apply, ask questions. Uh, and so if you maybe are a little bit behind, no worries, just keep checking in with the group, asking questions, letting, letting me know how it's going and uh, yeah, just keep plugging along. So today's post was about nerds and free spirits and especially if you are uh, married, this is going to be especially relevant to you because um, this is Gary, for those of you who don't know. Um, this uh, We've been married a long time and only in the last couple of years have we actually started to try and budget and live off of a budget and actually tell our money what, what to do. Uh, and so it is challenging because as I mentioned in the video, I am the nerd. And I am the free He's spirit. The free spirit. Uh, and so many of you hopefully you've all had a chance to do the nerd free spirit quiz that i posted this uh, this morning um, i know michelle you said that you were a free spirit uh, and i don't know i mean i haven't heard from everybody so i don't know if there's any fellow nerds in the group the really funny thing is that that's our personalities for when it comes to money but in general we're kind of the opposite. Like I'm the more like adventurous, free spirited one, and he's the more like conservative, stay home and and um, less of a risk taker, I guess you would say. But in money, total opposites um, or total reverse. So the lights bugging my glasses. Uh, so I wanted to uh, take a couple of minutes, and I wanted you guys to hear from Gary because he is the free spirit. Some of you are free spirits, uh, and since you are maybe new to this get a little bit of perspective from a fellow free spirit and then um, we'll talk <laughs> we'll talk a little bit about uh, challenges and budgeting stuff because we're starting to get into budgeting so um, I guess do you want to talk a little bit about how budgeting was when we first started for you um, <laughs> it didn't go well um, we had lots of fights uh, lots and lots of arguments um, which is why I also posted that uh, or, or the link to how to set up some rules for your budget committee meetings. <laughs> right. Um, but uh, it was, you know, it was, it was war. I mean, that's exactly what it was. You know, it wasn't, you know, I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. It was awful. Um, uh, you know, I wanted to be more, you know, uh, I wanted to be more spendy and she wanted to be less spendy and also too to change from living outside of our means very easily to trying to live within our means very easily now you know this still to this day uh it's still you know it's we still hit bumps we still hit you know uh we're you know um even right now even with even with what's going on financially uh we have a house coming and it has really <laughs> it really drained out a lot of our finances and stuff like that. So it was a lot of unexpected things. Um, of course, uh, you know, unexpected things with, with like the car and with the truck, you know, and stuff and things going, you know, left and right. It's, it's, this isn't a, this isn't a perfect, you know, um, it's not a perfect solution, but it is an effective solution. Uh, it is um, the progress that you can make is well worth it. Do we still fight about finances? Yes. Do we still fight about, you know, like spending and doing? Yes. You know, um, they're a little more constructive now. Yes, our communication about money has right. improved drastically. Improved. Yeah, improved. Um, all, like I said, now it's more constructive and less deconstructive. Um, of course, man, I still don't, I still don't probably bend as far as I should. Um, I still try to get my way. <laughs> uh, so, I mean, you know, 
it's just kind of it, it it's hard uh, um, let's see Dilma says this is what we have here at home I don't like to talk bills with my husband uh, you know, I that's think... another. Th I don't like talking bills. I'm sorry for interrupting you, no, but that okay. is that is probably one of our biggest things. She will come to me and she'll be like, "Hey, let's talk about it but later, 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 later," because I don't want to talk about something that's going to impede my spending. <laughs> you know, or I don't want to hear that. You know, we are we're kind of screwed right now. You know, we're kind of or you know, like not saying we are, but I'm just. Uh, but you see what I'm saying? Like, you know, I don't want to hear these things. You know, I like being in the dark and spending money. And that is the dumbest thing in the world. It really is. I know it is, but I can't stop. Uh, oh, I can probably, but right now I'm not doing a very good job of, of doing that. And you're right. I don't like talking to bills. I don't like talking about bills to her because, you know, if I hear something that I don't like or hear something that, you know, like, wait a second, what about this or what about that? Then it can create, you know, it, it basically creates a foundation for another war. And I don't mean we're going to, we're going to argue. We're going to, we're, we're going to fight about it. Now, I know that people, you know, people's definitions of what that is. We're going to be very loud and we're going to state our opinions very firmly and I'm going to end up scaring the dogs. You can already hear that I've got kind of a boomy voice. So, you know, those things happen. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, I don't... Uh, Let me pause you sorry? for a second there. So, Delma, I don't know, have you figured out if you are a free spirit or a nerd? And then also thinking about what your husband might be if he is a free spirit or nerd or, I mean, is he opposite of you? Because um, that, that also makes a difference. I can say as the nerd, which also means I am the one who tracks spending, who pays the bills. Um, you know, even now, even though we work together on the budget, I'm still the one that actually goes and hits the submit button for payment. Um, and I can tell you that all the years I spent being the only one who knew or who, who worried about it, that's a lot of stress. It's a lot of stress. It's a lot of headaches. It's a lot of weight. Um, you know, it's a lot of feeling like you are on your own in this uh, while the, you know, and it, it can create a lot of feelings of resentment. And, you know, I'll be honest, it did for me. Like he was out having fun spending and I'm thinking, well, how are we going to pay this this month? Oh, this is, um, you know, in the back. Yeah, this is way, way back. Um, you know, so that was one of the things when we first started doing the budget, we had to get over a lot of those, get through a lot of those issues first was all of these years of like my pent up stress, you know, about being the only one who or felt like being the only one who was worried about it. Now, I will say when you start doing a budget together, easily the first three months are going to be horrible. Mm. They're going to be difficult. Mm. You know, you guys have different priorities. You've been used to doing things a certain way for such a, maybe a long time, but don't be surprised if you have lots of, lots of bumps the first three months, at least, um, you know, and these, these budget committee meetings, you know, you'll have, <laughs> you'll have multiple, multiple ones. Um, and even for us now, like we will have one right before the month starts to set it up and then, you know, we'll kind of do a check in right before the first paycheck hits after those bills are paid or whatever. If something happens in between the two weeks between pays, you know, we'll check in again to say, okay, are we still on track to do this? Right. Do we need to make adjustments? Is something unexpected come up? Oh man, adjustments. Oh, I don't know why adjustments just bug the crap out of me. You know, I hate saying, well, I want to spend, you know, 20 bucks here. Well, we have to find out what we're going to take it from. No, damn it. I just want 20 bucks. Well, where's it going to come from? You know, I, you know, I'm using basically foul, you know, failing logic, <laughs> you know, because right, if it has a, if it's in one spot, you got to take it from somewhere to, you know, it's got to come from somewhere. But, oh, I hate doing that. Oh, oh, it just bugs the crap out of me. Now, here's where the nerd free spirit comes from. You work together to create this budget. The nerd helps to keep the free spirit wrangled in a little bit so we can make sure the bills are paid. The free spirit is there to make sure that we still kind of have a little bit of a life. But, exactly, the nerd, though, is the one that's going to probably enjoy the tracking, the mm. spreadsheets, the budget, like, and that's what I told him. Like, I just, I need your input. We need to build this together. 
but right. I will gladly be the one to pay the bills. I will gladly be the one to track spending. I will keep up the spreadsheet because I like that. I like to see my progress. So just, you know, then you ask yourself though, how do we, how do we, how do we do this? Right? Okay. It was so bad with us. It was, it was so incredibly bad that I literally could not have access to money. I could not at all. I couldn't be on an account. I couldn't be on anything because if I had access to money, I would figure out a way to get it to whatever it was. So name wasn't on the account. Name's not on any of the accounts. You know, my spending money that's in the budget is, you know, was taken away. And now the things that I'm supposed to get, you know, like I, she has to go get them because I can literally not have access to money. Now, excuse me, now how long will that last? I don't know, but I have to, as the free spirit out there, you, you have to recognize this stuff in yourself. It's the old adage of, you know, you have to, you know, you have to accept it before you can fix it. So I've accepted that. Yeah, I'm, I'm rotten, you know, when it comes to figuring that, you know, way out with money, but I'm not denying the fact that I need to fix it. So, you know, just saying, Hey, it's hard, you know, and working together with somebody else is still just as hard, you know? And I, I think that for, and I could be wrong. You can correct me. I think for free spirits, as hard as it is to budget, it is harder to stick to the budget. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's honestly, it's not even like the budgeting process that, that we end up, I guess, arguing over more. It's the sticking to the budget. So then if he does overspend in a certain area, which sometimes it's not him like just spending money. It's been like, I over, he does the grocery shopping. I overspend on groceries. Well, crap, that money has to come from somewhere. Right. So that's where the adjustment that drives him nuts comes in where I'm like, wait, we can't do anything else until we figure out where that overspending comes from. Right. It's got to be compensated for somewhere. And it can be stressful. That is why, and we're going to get into this either tomorrow or Saturday. I'm going to talk about the envelope system and using actual cash for spending as opposed to running your card, running your card, running your card. But I don't want to get ahead of myself on that, but because tonight is just about free spirits and, and nerds. So it's really important to figure out which kind of side of the coin you're on. Um, and then really look at that, uh, the link to that article that I posted about, you know, how to approach your first budget meeting. Um, you know, things that nerds need to keep in mind, things that free spirits keep in mind. So nerds, one of the pieces of advice that I can give to you is, you know, maybe create the budget, you know, write it down, use every dollar. We went through that, whatever, and then give it to the free spirit to take a look and provide input and then give it to them and then shut up. Let them look at it, let them, you know, tinker around with it, let them say what about this or ask questions or whatever, but just keep your mouth shut and, and you know, instead of saying, this is what we're gonna do, do this, that, that, I mean, because that's how we started out and man, we butted heads all the time. So give them the budget, let them look, keep your mouth shut, you know, and then the free spirit has to recognize that, you know, the nerd has put a lot of time into this and that it, you know, they need to be present. They need to be in the budget. They need to have a voice in the budget. So that's my advice to you. What do you got? <laughs> Anything? No, <laughs> just, you know. Any advice to free spirits about going into the budget meeting? It's gonna suck. <laughs> and, you know, I don't know, make a change and stand your ground, you know? Make the nerd change it, you know? Because then you've made a change, but make it stick, you know? Don't let the nerd say, well, no, this has, hey, look, I'm changing this. This is what I want. I'm not changing all of it. I'm not screwing the whole thing up, but I'm changing this. And I'm moving this to here and this to here. Cause it, not to say it's inconsequential to the budget, but it's a change that the nerd's gonna feel. And that's what you want. You want that nerd to feel that, okay, if I'm gonna work with you, you're gonna work with me. 
So that's it too. Yeah. And if you, I will say for both sides, if you want to continue a good working relationship on the budget and you want to continue to have a voice in the budget, like especially in that instance where, you know, you make a change, free spirit, and you want the nerd to stick to it, it's going to be just as important that whatever change you just made, that you stick to that budget. Because if you then make this change and force it and then you blow it, the nerd is going to want to crunch down even more and it's going to be a lot harder to work together. So just keep that in mind. Um, you know, one of the things I will give credit to Gary for was when we started this whole process, and as I've told you, this is a Dave Ramsey system. When we started this whole process, he at least, I mean, I was kind of relentless, but he at least was, okay, look, I will give you a year to see if this actually works. That was two years ago. Yes, and it, before the year even came up, he was like, okay, obviously this has made a difference. Yeah. And if so, anybody knows who I, you know, if anybody knows me, well, you guys don't know me. Some but, might. Some might, but anyways, I'm a very, very strong-headed, bull-headed guy. So if that year had came up and I hadn't seen anything, it would have been gone. That's just it. It would have been gone. Now, I'm not saying I'm that misogynistic douche that would, like, force her into it. I'm just saying I'm not going to follow it. It didn't show me anything. Figure something else out. You know? I'm not going to continue going down a road that's not working because we're already on that road. So let's look for something else. You know, because like they always say, you can't start a revolution without replacing it with something because then your revolution is for not. So in those words, if you're going to, you know, if you're going to push, at least have something to replace it with. Yeah. So, okay, well, I see that a couple of you have watched. I appreciate you taking the time to check this out. Um, but still, if you have questions after the fact, feel free to post them in the comments below and, uh, and I will respond. And I think, are you still in that group? I added you so I opened the group, but I don't know if you're still in Which there. one? Financial fitness. Sure. I, he might be in the group. If he is and there's a question about free spirits, he'll answer it. Yeah. Uh, if there's a question about nerds, I'll answer it. And if he's not in the group, I'll answer both. <laughs> so, all right. Thanks for watching. Get the assignments done. Try, to, try your best to get caught up because we are moving forward um, with using cash in the next couple of days. Uh, and it's going to get, I think it's going to get good. So, um, all right. You guys are awesome. Have a great night, a great weekend, and I will see you in the group tomorrow. Bye. Be good humans.